Blender user interface is the same on all platforms, so after starting Blender you should see something like what we have on the screen. It is mainly divided as a top menu at the top, highlighted in red, a bottom status down, highlighted in yellow, and a set of areas in the middle highlighted in green. The left part of the top menu contains the file menu, the edit menu, the render menu, the window menu and the help menu. The middle part of the top menu contains shortcuts to different Blender workspaces, where a workspace is a predefined layout to help you handle specific tasks, for example there is a specific layout for modeling, another one for shading, and another for animation, and so forth. To the right of the workspace called scripting, there is a plus sign, where you can create and add your own workspace or layout. And from the right part of the top menu you can access the different scenes and layers of your Blender project. For the status bar it is located at the bottom of the Blender window, and displays contextual info, such as keyboard and mouse shortcuts, it also displays status messages, errors and warnings. And the right part of the status bar displays info about the used Blender version. The Blender window consists of several areas, each area is a space on the screen that is reserved for one of Blender editors. When you open Blender for the first time, you will find the 3D viewport editor inside the area to the left, highlighted in red, the outliner editor in the area to the right, highlighted in green, the properties editor in the area to the right bottom, highlighted in blue, the timeline editor in the area to the bottom, highlighted in white. Each editor has its own icon to be able to differentiate the editors from each other, and you have complete access to change the editor shown in a specific area. You just go to the button at the top left corner of the area, click on it and you will see a complete list of all the available editors to choose from. You can resize any area by clicking with the left mouse button on its border, and while you are still pressing on the button just drag the border left or right, and top or bottom. You can also generate new areas to add any extra editors. To do this move the mouse to the top right corner of the area, and once the mouse cursor changes to a cross then you can drag the area, which creates a new area. To join the areas together move the mouse to the nearest corner to the adjacent area, and while pressing the left mouse button just drag the area on top of the adjacent area. The area that will be closed or merged with the chosen area will be highlighted in dark color. If you right-click on the top bar of any area, then it will open a menu with the available options for this area. Enjoy, and don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the small bell for the notifications, and while you are here check out these videos.